And when I got to uh, sixth grade, I believe it was, we started school band. Played the French horn through middle school and high school. I was playing a school instrument, so when I graduated from high school, that was the end of the instrument. But about 20 years after I graduated, I went online and found a horn on eBay. And so that's where I picked up the horn again. It was a struggle you know to get back into it but i did and i played with our brass quartet at church but i found that i would lose my lip when i came down here to texas because i wouldn't bring the horn with me and it would be so so much work to get it back so this winter i asked my husband if he thought there would be room for my horn in the rv and i searched online for a group down here and i found that one meets at the tip of texas so i called the tip of texas and they put me in contact with the activity director and here I am. What kind of a practice routine do you have? I practice at least every other day for an hour in the RV. One of the first things I do is go online to YouTube or to uh, JW Pepper and I find the music that we're playing. And I bookmark it, you know, or save it to my desktop, whatever. And then I can listen to it, I can learn my entrances, I can hear the intervals that I might not hear otherwise, and I can hear how my part relates to the rest of what's going on. And it just makes it so much easier to learn the piece. People can't always be an athlete no, throughout their life, but can you always be a musician? <laughs> You can to an extent. <laughs> I think you need to keep up your athleticism to a point because you need the air. You need this air support. That's the struggle of it. How did you work through that frustration when you picked it up again for the first time? <laughs> well, it's a long time ago now. It's hard to remember. <laughs> But, you know, I went to the music store and I bought some easy method books and I just started again like a beginner would have. And I just kept at it. And I had so much encouragement from the people I was playing with because they were like amazed that I could even do it after all that time. So it just came, you know, you practice and it comes back. What would you say to people who maybe haven't played in a long time? What would you tell them? I think if you enjoy playing the French horn especially that never goes away i mean you could enjoy listening to other people play it but in your heart you're always listening for that part you're always you know like fingering it or at least i was and once i made the like the plunge and got the horn and got back into it i was i was just so glad i had done it so you know, go for it <laughs>